There is nothing to stop these energies now, Sananda and one who serves. Sananda and one who serves, channeled by James McConnell. Note, these messages were given during our weekly Sunday Prepare for Change group in Phoenix, Arizona on February 25, 2017. Web pages, www.meetup.com, Ancient Awakenings, and www.ancientawakenings.org. Sananda. This is Sananda. I did not announce my presence earlier to this one, James. Again, I am here. I am here to continue the process, the process that was begun so long ago. Here we are now as we continue on. Continue with our endeavors, continue on with all we have come here together to do. Together we are operating here. Together we are making all of this happen. There are many things going on behind the scenes still. There are many things that are not yet revealing. But I tell you now that many things are going to be revealed, there is much that is coming. There is much that is going to be announced. Of course, times cannot be given, dates cannot be given. You know deep down with new, within your consciousness that all is about to shift. All is in the process of shifting now as I speak here. Do not lose heart. Do not lose the sense of expectation you have. It is coming. Many of you are tired. Many of you are feeling the energies and sometimes they are too powerful. Sometimes you cannot handle the. But I tell you, you can handle them. You can move through this. You will move through this. There is nothing to stop these energies now. There is nothing here on the planet and nothing above the planet that can stop these energies. They are going to come. They are real. They are coming in a wave of energy that is going to come here. More will be spoken of this in the next time we come together. We can reach out to many, many more in this moment through the radio broadcast. I, as Sinanda, tell you that you are in the exact right place the exact right time and moment that you need to be. All is as it has to be and all is as it should be. I only ask that you continue to trust yourselves. Trust in all that is a part of you and that you are a part of. All is coming to a conclusion. I am Sananda. All of my peace and love be with all of you. I am always here with you whenever you call upon me or any of the others that mentor to you. Love be with all of you. One who serves. Greetings to you. Here we are again without our compadre, Ashira, but we do the best we can to answer questions but before we do, know that much is coming as Sinanda has said. Many of you know deep well with Anu that the changes are upon you now. The changes are upon you and with Anu and have been for some time. You are working on a process here. You are working toward an ending process. Rather an ending and a beginning at the same time. As Sinanda has said, many things are in the right place and the right time to begin to occur here. Those things that have been held in the darkness are going to the light. You are the light so they are coming to you. Okay? You have questions for one who serves? Question is so okay? We can tell you that this one is experiencing difficulties in many areas here. We cannot go into details here but sometimes this is challenging for her. Many of you have gone through challenging processes during this ascension process. Know that it is for a reason, all for purpose here. The purpose is beyond your knowing here but it is for a purpose, nonetheless. Everything is being orchestrated as it needs to be. That is not to say that it would not be a good idea to look into her and see if everything is okay for her. Okay? Question. I see pictures all over my walls before I go to bed and after. What is happening here? My goodness. We think you know what is happening. It has been happening for a while now. You must trust yourself and your higher self for guidance here. As someone mentioned earlier, it is a glimpse beyond the veil for the veil is thinning. There is much that is occurring here. You are more and more, all of you. Not only the one asking the question but all of you are experiencing many different shifts of consciousness as you see through this veil. This has been said many times. 
Those that have eyes to see and ears to hear. This is what it is all about. You have the eyes to see and the ears to ears to hear. So, trust yourself that it is not a mirage, part of an illusion. It is moving through the veil and seeing beyond it. At some point, when it happens, the veil will be gone. It will be a major shift in consciousness when this veil is gone because you must understand that you have operated many lifetimes with this veil being there and not being able to see through it. At times the wee little pinholes you could see through but they would close up right away. Now the pinholes have gotten larger and larger as the veil is dropping. As it does you will have many, many more experiences like this. Seeing things that others may not see or that they are not aware of. This is in terms of looking at the skies and seeing ships. You could see a ship now. Many of you could look up and see a ship while the one next to you will not know what you are talking about. Look at that ship up there. And they would not know what you are talking about. You are crazy. There is nothing there. You see? There are many things occurring and many things that are changing with all of you. Question. I am surely watching this in my bedroom. It does not happen anywhere else. Am I losing it? You are not losing it. You are gaining it. Question. Is there any correlation between the collective meditation and the individual meditations? Yes and yes. There are so many things when you are doing the guided type of meditation. Please understand that James is using the words but we are sending the pictures. He is taking pictures and creating words out of this. So it is very much being guided most of time here. Know that all is happening as it needs to and most of your visualization process as a collective consciousness, whether it is a group or many groups at a time, just as this global meditation was a collective consciousness across the planet as was heard here. This is having a great effect on the area we speak of here. Okay? Question. Does this affect the thinning of the veil? Yes. Of course. Not only this meditation but all of these we have done for a time here are having that effect. Understand that there is a major veil all are aware of but there is also a veil for individuals, yourselves, here. Many would not be aware of this. So you are definitely thinning the veil around you. That is the individual you. Okay. That larger veil is coming down. It is thinning. It is going to be completely removed. At that point this is where you go through the transition we are speaking of. Where you will have the entire illusion gone. Almost overnight here it will seem. It will leave you breathless because many will not understand. You will understand because you have been working through this. We have been preparing you for this particular occurrence. This will be for many like their entire comfort zone is gone in an instant. They will be left disconsolate in many cases because they do not understand what is occurring. That is where you come in people. That is where you come in as much as you can to explain what is occurring here. You will receive a great deal of help and mentorship through this process just as you already are. Okay? Question. I had an interesting experience last week. The first day my bed was vibrating. The second day it vibrated harder and I watched a movie but had a hard time seeing the actors. The third day I had a similar experiences and I wet myself. Can you explain to me what is going on? You are fully becoming encased in your dream state in that case. You do not know when you are dreaming and you are awake. Your body is feeling the need to relieve itself in that dream state, let us say. Normally. You get up and take care of business and go back to sleep. There are times when you are so deeply involved in the dream state that it takes you beyond the dream state now to a multi-dimensional experience. When you are in a multi-dimensional experience so much that you are fully involved in it that your body is not even aware of its connection to your consciousness anymore. You see? So this is what occurs there. As far as the vibration in the bed, that we will relate to many more here. That will have similar experiences. Not so much the wetting the bed part but the other part of being attuned to Mother Gaia. Many of you will have the experience of having the vibration of having an earthquake but there will be those next to you who do not feel anything. 
You see? Question. I live in Los Angeles and sometimes the intensity of the city is intense. I have a place in New Mexico but I have been told I need to remain here to be a light worker. Is it in my best interest to remain here or go to Santa Fe or take more nature trips? First of all, who is it who told you to stay there? I have had channelings with archangels. That is what we want to know here. Because any channeling, even channeling such as this, is never fully accurate. Never 100%, never will be 100%. There are times when it is higher and times when it is not so high. That is because it comes through a consciousness of an individual. When you have the connection with your higher self that is when you know, that is when you will know what to do and how to proceed and all of this. So we would say to you go into a meditative state and ask yourself and wait for the answer. It may not come immediately, it may not come in words or thoughts in the immediate moment but it will come. It may happen in a synchronicity that happens in the next day or week. It will come to you. Do I stay in Los Angeles or do I go to New Mexico or whatever it might be? Ask deeply within you. Ask once and wait for the answer. It will come in many different ways. The answer will come for you. Okay? As James has said many times, he wanted the X marks the spot. Why can't you just tell me? Why play these games? He would say, we are not playing games. We are assisting you in assisting yourself. You see? It is always about turning to your higher self and making that connection once again. That is what this entire ascension process is about. It is about connecting to your higher God self and all the multi-dimensional selves you are. Okay? Question. Any advice on how much news to watch? We can never say to anyone, watch or not watch, or listen or not listen. That is not for us to do. We will not interfere in that sense. No, as you continue to move through this process, you pick up your awareness in many different ways, whether it is an awareness outside of yourself or a combination of. All of this is part of the process. As you raise your awareness, you become aware of the truths out there, you come out of your sleeping state and into an awakened state. As you are aware of this you will experience many, many changes that will come as an experience of this. Do not become emotionally attached to anything. Whatever the news is. If you hear something that is particularly gruesome to you turn it off. Do not become involved in that. This goes for movies and television shows and all of this. If it hurts you or clouds your consciousness it is not right for you. If you can watch it or listen to it and have no emotional response, be unattached to it that is the key here. Becoming unattached. As you have heard many times here. You will not be able to go through the complete ascension with attachments. For this reason, the imaginative world here. Okay? Question. We successful in sealing off the Archon's energy during our meditation today? Depends on how you term successful. How you look at it with a subjective understanding. If you believe it is successful, it becomes successful. Now if you are talking in terms of collective consciousness in terms of raising frequencies across the planet then it had some influence here. Maybe not quite as much because there was not as much impetus in creating this meditation here. There was only one individual who put this out and yet it spread across throughout your internet and all of this. Many saw it but many have become disillusioned by much of this. Where this type of global meditation several years ago may have attracted many, many more to be a part of it many others have shied away from this thinking this has no results. None of this makes any difference. We do have the revaluation. We do not have the global currency reset. Even the mass arrests have not happened yet so what's the sense of it? Many are thinking and feeling in this way. So this dissipates the results of the global meditation such as this. But even knowing this, there was a definite increase in consciousness. Those of us who see from above or from a different point of view saw many lights come on that had not been on previously. So in that sense it was very successful. Question. For several weeks I have been hearing an alarm go off at 5.30 a.m. 
I have checked all the clocks in the house and have not found this anywhere. I have used it as a call to meditation. Anything else you can tell me? Don't share this with anybody out there because you will be locked up. Laughter we can be funny too. You are correct. This is an awakening from your higher God self. Your higher God self is attempting to reach out to you. And in doing so it is giving you something to lash your arm to. He or she is attempting to connect with you. When this happens, and it happens with others in different ways, this one James has a ringing in his ear when it is time to go within. Whatever he is doing the impulse is to drop what he is doing and go within. If only briefly here. He wants to go or fully into meditation state at that time but that does not always happen. For you and for all others who have experiences such as this, your higher God self is attempting to reach you, to connect with you. Please understand we say connect with you but know the connection has never been really lost. It has only been lost within your programming. It has never been truly gone. You've always had this connection and will always have this connection. It is coming back to your waking consciousness here. Okay? Question. I have a friend in Hollywood Hills, California. He sent me a photo he took of a large kite-like craft surrounded by helicopters. He posted it to social media and it was taken down. I sent him the photo three times to post and all were removed. I had it removed from my social accounts with a word stop included. What can you tell me about these incidents? Certainly and many are answering this within their thoughts here we are finding. They are attempting to stop this. To keep this from getting out because they, the cabal, are not yet ready for disclosure to occur. Because they know that once disclosure of the extraterrestrial, the life and all that has happened, they are done. This is all done. They come in from the light because they do not like the light. It is as your vampire stories. They do not want to come in from the light. They like the darkness and need the darkness. This is the cabal. They needed to be in the dark but now they are much known. Even your television shows and movies know of them. The Illuminati several years ago was not a spoken word. People were afraid to say that word but now people are not afraid anymore. It is coming out. Part of the continuing process to hold back the truth hold back the old paradigm here. That is all they know and once these disclosures come into the light they are finished completely. They are trying to hold off as long as they can. You know because of the internet and all, it cannot be done. You can send it out and it can be deleted but somewhere, someone has it. They can send it out to everyone. They cannot stop it completely. They can only attempt to hold it off. Okay? We wish to say in the next coming time when you come together with an, much is going to be shared here. We cannot give exact time frames or moments but so many things are just on the verge of cracking wide open. Many truths are going to be revealed here shortly. Sinanda will be with you and another, James does not know this yet. There will be several that will be with you in the next time here. Assuming everything is fine this time because the Cabal is very much aware of this group. They are aware just as we are aware. Many in the galactic realms are very much aware of this particular group. All that occurs here and all of you reaching towards the light, spreading the light. And when an individual or a group is spreading the light, all the dark forces come to stop it. You must understand, you are very well protected. You have the Archangel Michael standing with his blue sword of truth ready to smite down anyone who tries to interfere too directly here. As well as Sinanda, those of us in one who serves and Asher and Ashtra. My goodness we could go on and on. All of us are working with you directly and more are coming aboard here in times coming. More will come on to take you into your next level of training here. You are all in a training process here and we are here to assist you just as you are assisting us. Okay? Shanti. Peace be with you. Be the one. Channeled by James McConnell. www.meetup.com Ancient Awakenings And www.ancientawakenings.com
www.ancientawakenings.org. Article may be reproduced in its entirety if authorship and author's website is clearly stated. Believing is seeing.